This is the Pythonic Accountant, and today we're going to take a look at using GPT-4 and its advanced data analysis tool to perform a reconciliation. So first, I actually had uh, GPT-4 give me a couple of CSV files that I can use to perform a reconciliation. One is a general ledger detail for sales revenues at a summary level, and then the next is a subledger uh, detail for sales revenue. And I actually asked it to intentionally include some discrepancies between the files um, due to like cutoffs, returns, other other anomalies, and the but hopefully we'll be able to catch those. And so what I'm going to do now is flip over to this other tab that has no knowledge of what I asked it to do previously, and I'm going to say, um, "Hey, can you help uh, me reconcile these two files? They are supposed to relate to each other." but I think there may be discrepancies. It's critical that I uh, determine what the differences are. And I need to know if I need to record an adjustment based on any issues found uh, in the general ledger that do not correctly reflect the financial uh, situation as indicated in the subledger. Let's see what it does. Hopefully it'll read these both into Python and hopefully then it will attempt to do a reconciliation. So. Let's see what it says. I'll begin. And by the way, I'm using a, uh, uh, I forget what it's called, but basically the kind of custom instructions, that's what it's called. Um, I gave it some instructions that I'm a bookkeeper doing accounting work, blah, blah, blah. Debits have to equal credit, blah, blah, blah. And then um, I tell it, it has to refer to me as Mr. Accountant and act as an AI certified public accountant and you know strong with GAP, etc. And I tell it to ask for more information about GAP if it doesn't have it. So. Let's go back and see what it's able to do. So of course it calls me Mr. Accountant, as it's supposed to, which is great. It's gonna open both files and provide a detailed analysis. That's awesome. Uh, so it's loading both files here and you can see it uses uh, basic Python, uh, reading the CSV files and then grabbing the head uh, of each files. And it takes a look at what the files contain first so that way it knows how to actually perform the reconciliation. So that's pretty awesome. That's kind of what I would do if I was doing this manually. So first it said it's going to aggregate sales revenue by date and then merge the aggregated subledger data with the general ledger data by date. And that's smart that it does that because the uh, general ledger data is already by date because I told it to create that data as a one record per date uh, summary level. And then identify discrepancies between sales revenue and both ledgers. So let's see, identify discrepancies between the sales revenue and the subledger and the general ledger. The difference column reflects these discrepancies, where a positive value indicates the GL has a higher amount than the subledger. So let's see if it can figure out what the issues are. There are significant variances between the subledger and the general ledger, the multiple dates, uh, indicating subledger has higher sales revenue, scripts are not consistent, some are positive, some are negative. So it didn't quite get to the root cause of these yet. So I'm gonna see if I can push it a little bit further um, and actually, let's let's see if we uh, saw any of the specifics in some of the columns that could give us hints. Um, it might not have actually any more columns. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So it's it's possible. Um, okay, let's let's see. Do these files have any additional columns that could provide clues? As to the root cause, it's possible they don't. <laughs> so um, let's see if it is able to find anything. My guess is the files might only have the date and amounts column. And let's see, subledger, yeah, it only has the two columns. So it's probably not going to be able to figure out what the specifics are then. Uh, which is unfortunate, but let's just let's just pretend that the subledger is correct and the GL is incorrect. Um, let's say the subledger is correct, the GL may be incorrect. Provide 
me with the journal entry I should record uh, to properly state sales. Let's see if it's able to get this correct. So if the sub is accurate and the GL is potentially inaccurate, the appropriate course would be to record adjusting journal entries. So calculate the total discrepancy, record the journal entry to adjust the sales revenue account. And let's see. Okay. Ah, very good. It says we will credit the sales revenue account because hopefully it's saying that it is less in the GL versus the sub -ledger. And I like that it says debit accounts receivable or another appropriate account. It's not pretending like it knows that that's the right account for us. It's just suggesting that that could be the correct account. And that would be, a, a, you know, it's probably a good idea to think about accounts receivable as the likely account, but you never know. Um, cool. Well, let's, let's do one more thing here. Let's say, uh, what are some root causes you think uh, could have been the issues here. Just for fun, I want to see if it's smart enough to kind of think about what typical root causes could be for subledger data. Transposition, duplicate entries, omitted entries, okay, timing difference, that definitely makes sense. Systemic issues with software glitches, oh, that's smart. Data migration issues. Um, yeah, complex transactions. It didn't include the one that I told it about where it could be like returns, you know, because there could be a certain transaction type that doesn't cause it to go. So like what about returns? <laughs> ah, returns are indeed a significant factor that can contribute. Yeah, typically returns would hopefully flow through, but it's possible that returns might not work correctly. Oh, and look, I like that it gave me a journal entry for sales returns if that was part of the issue. Very good. Well, um, hopefully this was uh, inspirational and interesting uh, to you as it was to me. Um, if you liked this, please like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully we'll see you at the next one.